Good morning, students. Myself, Dr. E. Surendra, Department of Mechanical Engineering. So, in this session, I am going to discuss about uh, uh, steam condensers. Other than heat power engineering law, our year 20 last unit actually. So, uh, steam condensers were in chill. So, which are normally in a power plant. Normally, in a power plant, uh, basically, what are the basic uh, equipment you can see? See, in st how steam power plant works, basically, uh, the from the boiler, whatever the steam which is coming out of the boiler, which is going to the enter into a turbine through a nozzle, where it expands, uh, and uh, after expanding from the prime mover, I mean turbine, so it is going to enter into the condenser where it is going to condense means uh, some cooling water will be circulated in the condenser so whatever the hot steam which is entered into the condenser so it is going to condense and uh, the condensate uh, will collect and uh, a feed pump is going to extract the condensate from the condenser and it is going to send to back to the boiler as a feed water Okay, so even a okay, power plant process and to the indulo basic the boiler and the nozzle, turbines, condenser, even the basic equipment. So, e section lo manam basic the condensers and a 20 steam condenser and a what a function and what the classifications and the LNT in the column and 20 manaki condensers available round time, what the advantages, disadvantages, what the bridge bench kunda. So, ikada manaku first of all. What is uh, the definition of the condenser? As I said, with the whatever the steam which is uh, coming out of the prime mover turbine, so which is uh, entered into the condenser uh, at a less than the atmospheric pressure. So condenser is a device in which the steam is condensed to water at a pressure less than atmospheric pressure. Okay, so means here what is happening and uh, how it is uh, converting that steam into the condensate by circulating the cooling water means there is a heat is transferring from steam to the cooling water which we are circulating so means uh, we can say that condenser is uh, a heat exchanger which, ex which exchanges the heat from hot steam to the cooling water so whatever the uh, steam which is uh, uh, in vapor phase which is which rejects the heat which is equal to its latent heat and uh, which converts into liquid phase okay so even the mark so general uh, the pressure <coughs> of the condenser generally we will maintain uh, uh, around uh, the 7 to 8 kilo pascal it is uh, then the temperature nearly it is 330 degree kelvin okay so the, so, even the condensation and the So, okay. So, basic functions in the internet, if we list out the what are the functions of the condensers, we can say that one thing is whatever the turbine exhaust, the steam, which is at a certain, a certain exhaust pressure, which is going to uh, enter into the condenser and, uh, and uh, it is going to change its phase from vapor to liquid phase. So, obviously the specific output and uh, uh, of the plant efficiency will increases and uh, the steam consumption, the specific steam consumption is going to be reduced by the condenser. And uh, here, whatever the feed water which we are getting as a condensate, which we can reuse, with which we will pump, we will use some field water pump and we will pump to the uh, the boiler again for the reuse purpose. So, here the amount of the water which is the loss of water is also reduced by the condenser. Okay. So, and uh, here uh, also there will be a air extraction pump will be arranged uh, to the condenser where it uh, absorbs the non condensable gases and air which is present in the condenser. Okay, and uh, 
uh, condenser will reduces the time of operation, time of evaporation, and also the fuel economy. Fuel economy and the aim is because obviously the hot steam, which is the temperature of the feed water, which is at a certain temperature, so obviously the amount of the fuel required for the evaporation of the steam in the boiler is going to be reduced. So obviously the fuel will be a uh, fuel usage is going to be reduced. Okay. So and uh, here uh, in special surface, suppose if you take a surface condenser, then whatever the feed water which is collecting after as a condenser, if we there is no water treatment is required for the condenser. So these are the basic functions of the condenser. If you list out that one, so water. Let us see if if you take any condensing plant, condensing. Plant. What are the basic components present in that? So, children, so you can see that one. What are the elements? Okay, cooling tower. Into the condenser, and obviously there will be an air extraction pump which is going to suck the air which is present in the condenser, and whatever the kind of non-condensable gases which are present over there, which will be suck through the air extraction pump. And there is an added uh, condensate extraction pump, which whatever the uh, vapor which is converted into the liquid will be condensed or absorbed or extracted with the use of an another pump and uh, send it to a hot well. And uh, there is another pump which is used to send this feed water to the boiler. And uh, uh, so cooling tower basically for the circulating water, circulating uh, cooling water. So uh, obviously, that uh, cooling water which is circulating the hot steam, which is uh, send it back to the cooling tower, and again it will be circulated in the same manner. Okay, so these are the basic elements present in the a condensing plant. Okay, so here you can see what, uh, what is the necessary of uh, the condensing plant. See here in PV diagram and HS diagram, I have see I have shown. See here whatever the the condensation see in HS diagram this is the expansion in the turbine 1 to 2 1 to 2 this is the expansion in the turbine up to here see here this is uh, the uh, if the pressure is greater than atmospheric pressure only this is the point to indicate sir uh, if uh, it is expanded up to here only in the condenser actu actually it is reduced even less than atmospheric pressure this is up to 2 dash means you can see here what is the enthalpy drop which we are getting when fitted out of it by the use of condenser you can see in HS diagram. Similarly in uh, TS diagram also you can see here see the amount of the latent heat which has been released through the condensation you can see here this is the condensing if it is non-condensing you can see here this is non-condensing if it is non-condensing plant and this is the condensing okay so like this you can show in pv diagram hs diagram and ts diagram what is the condenser position okay so what are the classifications of the condensers condensers and it went to sorry okay condenser and into this in the condenser during the condenser in the local ground i basically depends on the type of flow it is divided classified into three types parallel flow counter flow and uh, parallel flow, counter flow and cross flow. Okay. Depends on the cooling action which is taking place. Uh, it is uh, class mainly classified into jet condensers and surface condensers. Jet condensers and the direct contact type of condensers and mixed type of condensers and jet condensers and in the, in the jet condensers and it again they are classified into further classified into four types those are low level type in low level type if the flow is parallel low level parallel flow jet condenser and if the flow is counter flow means cross flow then the, it is a low level counter flow jet condenser high level jet condenser ejector type of jet condensers like this uh, the jet condensers are classified and coming to the surface condenser they are classified into shell and tube uh, type of condenser and evaporative type of condensers shell and tube of condensers are also divided classified into another three types that is downflow tube condensers 
central flow and inverted flow surface condensers okay these are the main classifications of the condensers okay so we will discuss one by one oh for that we will see one okay so coming to the jet condensers as i said see jet condensers are also called as direct contact type or mixing type of condensers and ikkada okay. entante cooling water anetuvantidi hot steam ni direct ga kalisipothundi rendu direct ga mix ayipothayi there is no separation of both fluids while it is exchanging the heat from hot steam to the cold cooling water they are going to mix directly so andike deenni direct contact type ani mixing type ani antaru okay na so whatever the <coughs> final condensate which is coming out of the uh, condenser that condensate having the same temperature of the cooling water which you are circulating so and because when is jet condenser anate actually entante chaala simple ga untayi the design is very simple and also cheaper okay so uh, basically jet condenser anate water anedi chaala chavaga ante cheap ga and abundantly available and ekku ga chaala ekku quantity of the water anetuvante manaku available ga unnatuvante places lallo ee jet condensers anetuvante use chestu untaru okay na but uh, one thing is uh, whatever the condensate which is coming out of the condenser that uh, condensate we cannot reuse for the boiler purpose endukante andulo adi direct ga mix ayipothundi kabatti some impurities andulo unde atuvante chances untayi so kabatti mana direct ga use chesi cheyadam anedi koncham difficult avutundi okay so let us go for the further classification these are the says as first uh, we will see the advantages as i said this there is no as a result of uh, the effective mixing ante nenu em cheppan cooling water room no hot steam turbine nunchi ache hot steam and circulating cooling water anetuvante kalisipothayi so kabatti manaki entante less circulating water anedi manaki indulo main advantage adhe vidhanga simple ga untundi design very cheaper and uh, it occupies very less space తర్వాత మెయింటెనెన్స్ ఖర్చు కూడా చాలా తక్కువగా ఉంటుంది మెయింటెనెన్స్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో చీప్ బట్ థింగ్ ఈస్ లో ఇట్ జెట్ కండెన్సర్స్ అనేటువంటి ఓన్లీ మనము లో కెపాసిటీ అంటే లో కెపాసిటీ ప్లాంట్స్ మాత్రమే యూజ్ చేయగలము హై హయ్యర్ కెపాసిటీస్ ప్లాంట్స్ కి యూజ్ చేయలేము అదేవిధంగా మెయిన్ డ్రాబ్యాక్ యాజ్ ఐ సెట్ ద కండెన్సేట్ కన్సిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ ఇంప్యూరిటీస్ సో వీ కెన్ నాట్ యూజ్ ఫర్ ద ఫీడ్ వాటర్ యాజ్ టు ద బాయిల్ ఓకే అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ ఎయిర్ లీకేజెస్ అనేటువంటి ఎక్కువగా ఉంటాయండి సో కాబట్టి మనము లార్జ్ ఎయిర్ పంప్ యూస్ చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది అండ్ వ్యాక్యూమ్ క్రియేట్ అవుతుంది అంటే లెస్ దెన్ అట్మాస్ఫియరిక్ ప్రెషర్ కంటే తక్కువగా మనం ప్రెషర్ క్రియేట్ చేయగలము కాకపోతే ఏంటంటే మరీ ఎక్కువగా చేయలేము సో లెస్ వ్యాక్యూమ్ ఈస్ మెయింటైన్ సో కాబట్టి ఆబ్వియస్ గా వ్యాక్యూమ్ ఎఫిషియన్సీ అనేది తక్కువగా okay so these are the main disadvantages of uh, the jet condensers this is very important to know okay so next the class in the classification jet condensers are at one to be parallel flow low level high level and ejector condensers and cheppan kada so and the first one should the parallel flow low level jet condenser parallel flow low level jet condenser indulo entante chudandi this is the condenser ikkad nunchi manaki cooling water circulation ane jarugutundi this is the cooling water which is coming from here to here okay which is entering in this direction and uh, the exhaust steam which is coming from the turbine from this direction means rendu kuda pine nunchi condenser nu oke vaipu nunchi steam and cooling water rendu oke vaipu nunchi oke direction lo enter avutayi so andukosamane dinni parallel flow low level jet condenser ane antar so generally the vacuum which we can create in this condenser is nearly 6 kilo pascal okay so tarvata manaki basically as it is creating the vacuum in the uh, condenser manaki ee cooling water supply chesukodam kosam ikkada elanti pump avasaram undadu so a pressure differences vallane automatic ga the cooling water will enter into the condenser because of the pressure difference and uh, you can see there is another uh, thing here in this uh, 
that is buffle plates buffle plates are not only basically intended for thorough mixing of the cooling water and the steam we will use this one okay so this is a parallel flow low level jet condenser okay next coming to the next low level counter flow low level same low level but counter flow jet condenser and ikkada endante exhaust steam anedi ga chudandi exhaust steam anedi ikkada kindi nunchi itu vaipu nunchi enter avutundi cooling water vachesi deeniki opposite direction lo pine nundi enter avutundi cooling water anedi ee vidhanga pine nundi enter avutundi so both in opposite direction andike low level counter flow jet condenser ananta okay and uh, for extracting the air air sucking air uh pump we will use at the top here there is there it will be an air pump okay and uh, whatever the cooling water which sprinkles from the uh from the top and there will be an anion prevent of a perforated trace perforated trace means which uh, gives a sufficient uh direction and a space for the cooling water which is spraying from the top and uh, which cooperates in thorough mixing of the steam which is coming from the bottom to the top side okay so obviously aa uh, vidhanga manaki mixing anetvanti jaragadam kosam ee vidhanga perforated trays anetvanti arrange chesaru so obviously whenever the steam which is coming in contact with the cooling water which exchanges the heat and uh, the steam will changes its phase to the liquid state and uh, that condensate will collect at the bottom of the condenser here okay that condensate will extract using an extraction pump this is a condensate extraction pump okay so the minimum low level counter flow jet condenser and so meeru okate entante circulating pump anedi ikkada kuda circulating pump anedi le low level parallel flow ga anivandi low level counter flow jet condenser lo manaki circulating pump yokka avasaram undadu okay coming to the next one high level jet condenser high level jet condenser is this is also called as barometric jet condenser anantam dinni barometric jet condenser anta idi almost similar ga manaki low level counter flow jet condenser ela ite untundo adhe vidhanga untundi kakapothe ee condenser hot level nunchi manaki 10.33 meters ante water column pressure lo ganaka chuste 10.33 meters greater than the atmospheric pressure arrange cheyabadi untundi okay so that is only the one difference you can see and whatever the here also the same thing whatever the accumulated condensate ikkada okate entante whatever the accumulated condensate edaithe ikkada condensate tayar avutundo adi automatic ga because of this high level automatically it gravitates and collect into the hot well so there is no condensate extraction pump ane atvante di manaki inta mundu unde kada ikkada adi avasaram le okay so this is high level jet condenser also called as barometric jet condenser okay the next one ejector type of condenser ejector type of condenser the intente koncham moderate ga vaati kante kuda kodi ekkuva vaaki create cheyagalugutundi endukante ikkada em avutundante whatever the 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 cooling water ane atvantidi which will enter through a series of nozzles ikkada chudandi a series of nozzles ee vidhanga arrange chestunnayi itla so ee nozzles nunchi raavadam valla em avutundante which which creates more vacuum partial vacuum ane atvantidi ekkuva create cheyabadutundi and uh, as it is coming from the top through the nozzles the exhaust steam will entered from this side through a non return valve non return valve nundi steam anedi ee vidhanga enter avutundi so as the cooling water will come into contact with the steam so the steam is going to condensed okay ikkada non return valve ane special ga enduku use chesam ante suppose circulating water anedanti sufficient ga led ankonde appudu em avutundante రిటర్న్ మనకి ఇంజన్ లోకి అంటే టర్బైన్ లోకి ఇది మనకి వెనక్కి బ్యాక్ ఫ్లో జరిగేటువంటి ప్రమాదం ఉంటది ఈ విధంగా బ్యాక్ ఫ్లో అనేటువంటి జరిగే ప్రమాదం ఉంటది సో టు అవాయిడ్ దట్ బేసికల్లీ వి విల్ యూజ్ ద నాన్ రిటర్న్ వాల్వ్ హియర్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ఎజెక్టర్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ చెట్ కండిచర్ ఓకే 
so these are the main types of uh, jet condensers okay in the next class we will discuss about uh, the surface condensers and uh, what is the basic uh, calculations required for uh, the efficiency of the to calculate the efficiency of the condensers and all those things okay thank you very much thank you.